Hello folks and welcome. So my screen is in 4K but I'm filming in 1080. Uh, today I have a different video for you for the Cinnamon desktop. I don't care if you're running LMDE 6 or Linux Mint 22. Uh, if you are trying to get this job done of running the Cinnamon desktop on aged computers, in other words old computers with low resources, I'm going to talk about uh, turning off icons in your menu and some other resources. And as you noticed, it doesn't have a power button. But nonetheless, all of these are fully functional. You know, I can even drag the icon down here. But uh, more importantly, we can talk also about making power buttons in case you want to do something like that. And uh, I'll talk about, uh, I've shown these before, but I never know when I have a new subscriber. You can create these in 10 seconds. And I'll show you plenty of cautions because these are extremely powerful. They shut down your computer, no questions asked, in three seconds or less. All right. I am, again, filming in 1080. Welcome. Subscription logo should be in the corner. Well over 500 videos on all kinds of things. So we may want to turn off things because we're running low on resources. All right. So I'm just going to right click and do the system settings. We can also turn off effects which is done through here, just in case you're running a really old computer or aged computer, aged, older computers with lower resources. Anyways, Windows effects. Or you can turn these off independently. Effects on dialog boxes, effects on menus, session startup animation. You get the idea. I'm going to turn mine off. That doesn't mean I can't power off my system because I made these launchers and I made them part of my menu also because generally these are not found on your system. So if I type in the word power off or power, P-O-W, it is sitting right here. And if I click that button, it'll terminate my video in a heartbeat and power down my system in, in a roughly less than three seconds. That's not what I want. <laughs> not right now. Maybe later. So uh, restart is what I call the next button and I can restart the computer. It powers it down first and then restarts it. Also the same process, very fast. So maybe because you couldn't run the menus in a timely manner, in other words, it's real sluggish, maybe you want to do that or maybe not. Now you do have a screenshot tool, so at any time you can uh, feel free to make screenshots, but I'm going to right click on the icon and hit configure. So generally we don't have the text in here. You may even just have the tiny icon. All right, so I added the words LMDE6, and of course you can use this for Linux Mint 22 also. Size of the icon depends on the size of the panel a lot of times. And you can change that to the different ones if you like. We're going to talk about the menu though. Mine are off. Everything is off. Okay, all I have is this, and this still works just fine. All right, show category icons. I'm going to flip it on. So as soon as you do that, you'll have a size, whatever you feel comfortable with. The lowest is 16. The top end, I believe, is 48. I got 42. It works for me. All right, you, if you're using a standard computer mouse, you can grab a hold of the corner, click and drag to resize that. This is very hard to do with a touchpad. But nonetheless, this is the only thing being shown. Still no power buttons. Show applications. Well, that would be these guys if you want icons. Or maybe not. Now I have icons on both categories. So that would be show categories and show application icons. Now the next one says show favorites, which is a menu in here, and then session buttons are those buttons down here, the general button that you use to turn off the computer or log out or lock your screen. Now I'll reactivate that one. And that one's set to a little bit higher number than the other two because the icons are bigger. All right, now I have a power button. I'll show you how to add a timer in here in a couple seconds. So I have 42, 42, 52 works for me. I don't know about you. I can't vouch for your screen resolution, but 
roughly these are almost the size of my thumbnail and these are one and a half times the size of my thumbnail because my screen is 43 inches. What do I do with big screens like that? Well, a lot of things. I have other computers also. I put in several windows that I work with and I could drag information back and forth. Anyways, moving along. Let's go back on topic. Now, show bookmarks and places is currently not being displayed. This is generally on by default, which is this guy right here. All right, show recents is also here. If you don't want to see these, you turn them off. It's that simple. It's a little less resources, but not very much. All right, I'm going to now talk about one more setting and then we're going to get into making these. So in here, if you want this to have an automatic shutdown with X amount of seconds, as low as one second, don't recommend it though, um, that way it keeps you from clicking that. That is all done through here. Go into your system settings. You can also right click on your panel and then click general and then click the middle one. Enable timer when logging out or shutting down. You plug in the time frame. Like I said, you can put it down as low as one second. I don't recommend that though. 15 seconds is comfortable. And now when I click this, 15 seconds and counting down. I don't need to do anything. It's gonna power off my system and when it hits zero because that's lit up right now. So if you want that to be 22 seconds, 22 enter, that will now be 22 seconds and counting to zero. Easy enough. All right, effects, again, I have off and you can turn them back on and independently turn these on and off. Effects on dialog boxes, menus, startup effects, fades, window effects. Everything takes a little horsepower when you're running these things. You can also turn them all off if your computer is running sluggish. All right, so let me put this back to where I had it when I started this video. Just humor me. So you're trying to get this job done and this works out for you. But how do you shut down your system? Well, you can create these. These are launchers you can create in 10 seconds. It'll take me longer to explain them, but I've shown these before. Now, when you create these, I'm going to give you the caution now instead of later. Well, actually, I'll still emphasize it a couple more times. These are instantaneous power off and restarts. I mean, they are quick. Save your work if you have something open before you play. Before you hit these buttons, save your work. This is a double click icon, both of these. I don't recommend them on your panel because these are single clicks and I don't recommend them in here either if you have the icons on. The favorites, in other words, because these are very sensitive. In other words, um, taking a touchpad and getting anywhere near that, sometimes your touchpad double triggers, right? Then it shuts down your computer. All right, I'm using a regular computer mouse, so I'm fairly safe as far as moving these around. How do you create these? Right click, properties. There's only two things you need to plug in here. Well, besides the icon. So right click on your screen. I'm just showing you how to make these. Right click on your screen, create a launcher. All you need is a name and command and change an icon. So um, red X means it's waiting for you to type something. So I call mine power off. If you want to call it S, that's fine. It'll accept it. But let's give it something better than an S. Shut down maybe. And the word now. Why do I put that there? To emphasize the fact that this will shut down your system in a heartbeat. These are very fast if you have ever created these. But if you've never created these, you can test them out yourself, but I'm going to caution you to save your work. I keep saying the same thing over and over again. The, the command is power off. If you type it in properly, it'll turn into a blue arrow. If you're keeping this default theme, of course. That's all you need to type, power off. You don't need a comment. You don't need to launch it in terminal. You don't need to click that. 
This is all you need is this. If you want to keep the rocket, so be it. If you want this icon, then click this. Type in the word shut. You will find that red shutdown. You'll also find a black one. That one I don't recommend if you're using dark wallpapers. This one here, it looks like a wall switch. It may be small in this video, but this is one of those where you flip the button, in other words. It looks like the old style wall switches. I'll, I'll use that one instead of the red one. All right, so that's all I need is an icon, a name, and the command is power off. Again, very powerful icon. Now, when you hit OK, it's going to ask you a question. The question is, would you like to add this launcher to your menu? It will become just like any other icon. It will be placed in the other category initially. Yes or no. If you answer no, this will be your only icon. And if you delete it, then you will never have anything in your menu. This will be your only icon if you answer no. If you answer yes, this icon will remain and it puts another one in your menu. So I'm going to answer the word yes. Since I have the bare minimum icons, let me drag this over to here and close this for a second. So the word shutdown now is the same as power off now because they both use the same command. And there's my new creation. I'll turn the icons back on. Okay, so I'll type in shut and you can see it. I will delete that and stuck, type in shut. SH is close enough. This is just like any other icon. I do not recommend that you put these on your panel or your favorites for that matter. Why? First of all, if your icon is here, you don't need it. And two, this is too sensitive. These are single click icons. These are single click icons. You place them on your panel or your favorites and you inadvertently click that, especially with touchpads, it will shut down your system quicker than you can think. These are extremely fast icons. But again, your choice. Save your work before doing any of these things. But I'm going to put it to my desktop and it appears over here on the left side of my screen. As long as I have this feature turned off, I can drag this around on my screen. Be careful with it though. You inadvertently double click on that, it will power off your system immediately. Let's talk about this one. So this one does um, power off and reboot, and hence the word reboot. Same thing. Create a launcher, type in a name. I'm going to use reboot instead of restart, just so it's different. Okay. Reboot now is a good name. The command is reboot lowercase. So I think anyone can do this. And then something better than the rocket? Well, if you type in reboot, you get a black one. All right, the, the one that has the twirlies here. All right, this is a dark background, so I would not pick that. I can pick anything, including silly emojis. This icon is actually a software icon. Okay, I just typed in soft. You can see them in here. So I use this one right here. I could also use that one. Same thing. Reboot now. Do you want it in the menu? Yes. Restart, reboot, they're both the same icon. They just have different lettering. And here, reboot now is sitting right there. What if I don't want that anymore? Then you can uninstall it, just like any other application. You'll get a confirmation on your screen. This menu item is not associated with any package because you didn't install an application. These you did it yourself, so that would be a yes. It's not a program. It's a launcher. Now that's the only one I have because I uninstalled it. REB doesn't come up with anything but I don't need it anyways, since I have this one. 
So again, for icon sizes on your desktop, it is right click, customize. This is the largest. If you go the other direction, smaller, that they first initially placed them here. So this is in the direction of vertical. You would use this to separate them. If you did not know what these drag bars do. If you're running this in a horizontal fashion, some people like them this way, then you use this drag bar to get them closer. You can see now they blend and farther apart. See, these, these are still touching each other, the verbiage. And now they're that way. And I'll go from smaller to larger, just to give you that example. These are mobile, so click and drag. Be very careful with these. Place them where you want. And when you do use them, you make sure you save your work. Again, I don't recommend them in here and I don't recommend them on the panel, but it is your machine. If you want to place them here, it is pretty simple to do. All you got to do is now this is the old one. So I'm going to uninstall that one. And uh, this one is now called restart. You can see it here. I can add it to the panel and the favorites. This works quicker than this one does, but it doesn't ask you anything. It's very quick, but more importantly, be careful with these. Thank you for watching.